Good afternoon. I'm David Clark. I'm a senior member of the Capital Market Services Group. In a joint venture with Grant Thornton, UGL Services has been actively involved for the last two years in the proposed lease accounting rule change. Finally, after 30 years, FASB, the U.S. accounting rulemaker, and IASB, the international accounting rulemaker, are jointly developing a new leasing accounting standard. Historically, about 90% leases have not impacted the balance sheet of companies. The only financial impact for most leases has been a one-year expense deduction for gross rent. FASB and IASB do not like that a potentially significant long-term financial obligation that may change the financial picture of a company are not present on the financial statements. Now, all leases with just a few exceptions that do not affect real estate will be required to be included in a company's balance sheet. The right to use lease space will be an asset similar to goodwill. The liability, however, will be very real with all the rent plus an imputed interest charge included, like a promissory note, as a net present value. Only primary term of the lease will be included. With only one exception, options will be excluded. The asset and liability will then be amortized over the term. However, the net present value calculation for the liability will mean the earlier years will have a higher payment than the later years, which is a significant change from the current straight line depreciation. In summary, our best estimate of deal changes from today for this new lease accounting rule will be gross rent is not an expense, so net profit will increase as will income taxes. More companies will own their facilities and lease. We believe that change will go from its current 90-10 to 50-50. Lease terms will be shorter with more option periods. Many tenants will finance their own tenant improvements at a cheaper borrowing cost than financing through the leases as they are done today. Sarbanes-Oxley reporting may need to be modified for many companies as local market rental rates change. Subletting may cause a financial statement impact and may not be usable for space management purposes anymore. The expected schedule for these changes are a new exposure draft in December of this year or possibly as late as February 2012 for public comment. After the public comment period, a new rule is expected by December of 2012. Implementation will likely occur in 2013 or 2014. Publicly traded companies will probably be required to do an earlier pro forma implementation to assess impact. I am available to discuss any more details with regard to the proposed rule, the potential exceptions that may exist for our clients, and any further implement details that you would like to discuss. Thank you.